All right, you guys, if you want to see how to make this blueberry breakfast bread, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I know I filmed a few videos in a day, but that's okay. It has to get done to where that way you guys can see them. If you guys want to see how to make the best buttermilk blueberry bread, then just keep on watching. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Danielle. Nice to meet you guys. Please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell notifications for everybody. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. And let's get started. All right, so what you're gonna need for blueberry bread is two cups of blueberries. You can use fresh or frozen. I'm using frozen. One egg. Two cups of flour, which I have right here. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Two cups of, I lied, one cup of sugar. And my sugar bears right here. One tablespoon of vanilla. One cup of butter, softened. I need to grab another stick. And then half a cup of buttermilk. I'm using this buttermilk, uh, cultured buttermilk blend. So you just add water to it and it makes buttermilk. That is what I'm using. So let's get started. All right, so we have a cup of butter, softened half a cup of buttermilk again I used that powder stuff one egg one cup of sugar We're going to mix this. A tablespoon of vanilla. Two cups of flour. Here's one and Half is one, one and a half, and two. Two tablespoons of baking powder. And we're gonna mix this. I'm mixing this by hand. You can totally mix it in a stand mixer or with your hand mixer. All right, and the blueberries. You're gonna to wanna to fold the blueberries in so they don't dye everything blue. I'm just gonna add all the blueberries I have left in this bag. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Come on. All right. I'm gonna need some man muscles. I'm gonna call my husband. All right, I'm gonna spray three loaf pans. You can do this in a nine by 13. I'm just gonna do it like this so that way I can freeze them or have one and then freeze the other ones. 
Now I'm just going to split the batter between the three pans. All right, so I sprayed my hands. It's still sticky though. All right, I'm just spreading them out. And then I'm going to bake these at a 350 degree oven for about 35 to 45 minutes. Check them because normally this is done in a 9 by 13 pan. And I'm using these. So for 9 by 13, it says 35 to 45 minutes. I'm just going to check them periodically. And I'll show you guys what they look like when they're done. And I'm going to top mine with a little bit of sugar across the top. You don't have to do this, but I think it's going to be delicious. All right, and then my oven they go. Again, 35 to 45 minutes. I'm going to check mine about 25 minutes because I'm doing them in loaf pan. 